Hey, what is up everyone? Hope everyone's well. I'm back again with another video. This time it's for a port called Chocolate Doom. Um, what you can do with Chocolate Doom is you can play Doom 1, 2, uh, 3 is pretty much Final Doom. Um, Heretic, um, Hexen, Strife, um, which I've never heard of before, but uh, I'm going to show you how to install this on your PlayStation Vita. Um, when you download the data file for the application itself, it comes with two shareware um, games, which is Doom and I believe it was Heretic or Hexen. I don't recall, but either way, I actually took the time this afternoon after work and I searched the internet for full version working games. So I'm actually going to zip up a file and leave a download link um, in the description below. Um, with the application and the full version games for you guys so you don't have to go out searching the internet like I had to do um, this afternoon and stuff like that so it'll be right there ready ready for you guys and to uh, play and to install so without further ado let's get into it so right here is a website where it gives you a small description of what Chocolate Doom uh, is so I'm going to show you a few screen caps um, that it's actually running Doom, and I think this is Heretic or Hexen. I don't really recall. I do apologize. But this is the website that will be left in the description below. And just follow pretty much what I do if you want. Um, if you're going to go through this um, this GitHub, please keep in mind that there's going to be two shareware games within the .zip file. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to leave the same application um, software, but instead of the two shareware files, it's going to have the full version games um, in the iWOD folder itself. And these are the compatible games and stuff like that that I just showed you. So just keep in, that, keep in mind, um, but you will need to download the VPK file. Otherwise, you're not going to have a bubble on the dashboard. So these two files are downloaded. I just uh, moved back and forth quickly to show you. Right from here, I'm just going to minimize. And I'm going to go to my Windows Explorer, to my Downloads folder. I'm going to drag the files over to the desktop to make my life easier when it comes to the FTP, like always. So there's that. And, of course, I'm going to delete files and folders that I don't need anymore. So, as you can tell, I'm opening up the chocolate folder. These are all the files that come with it. These are the two um, games that come with it. Two shareware versions. So, I'm just going to delete this. And I will install, well, drag over, drag and drop over the full version games for you guys. Like I said, it took me some time to find these. And, uh... I figured I'd do you guys a solid and stuff like that. So I'll zip up this folder, the chocolate folder, and uh, you should be good to go. So I'll load up FTP, which is FileZilla, and right from here, we're going to head over to the PlayStation Vita side of things. So why don't you come along for the ride? All right. Since you guys booted up your PlayStation Vita already, it's time to launch the Vita shell. Once this loads, you want to hit the select button. I'm going to be using an FTP, um, like I always use, like I always do. Um, I actually like it a little bit better than just the USB, but USB is a lot faster for deleting big big files and for transferring over files. But um, for this um, for this method, I'm just going to use the FTP. So these numbers right here are going to be put into the FTP client on my computer. So let's head back over to the PC side of things. So once over to whatever FTP client you guys are running, um, I run FileZilla. Uh, once here, you're going to take the message that you got from the PlayStation Vita, which shows the FTP number. You're going to type that number into the host, and the port will be Elite Quick Connect. And you want to go to the UX0 folder, then to the data folder. Now, what you want to do is just drag, drag or drop, or right click and upload the folder to the data folder. 
So give this a couple of minutes and stuff like that. Like I just showed you, you could always right click and click upload to the folder if you want to do that instead. It's totally up to you guys. Whatever, whatever is easiest for you. So let's give this a few minutes. I will say thank you so much uh, for viewing my um, installation of the Grand Theft Auto 3 port. Um, that means the world to me. That's that's awesome. It's getting so many um, hits and views. It's ridiculous. And uh, you got to thank the person who back-ended that whole game, like reverse-engineered it, because that's crazy. Hopefully San Andreas or Vice City will come out. I would love to see a Silent Hill uh, 2 from the PlayStation 2 um, console come out one day. But once that's fully uploaded and stuff like that, you can just minimize the data folder or whatever. Or scroll down to the VPK. Now you want to upload the chocolate VPK file to the VPK folder. If you have one, if you don't, don't worry about it. You'll still be, you'll still be able to install the VPK file. So once that's transferred, uh, you want to head over back to the PlayStation thing, PlayStation Vita side of things. All right. After you guys get done uploading the files from the computer to the PlayStation Vita, just close out of this message. And next, we're going to go to the UX Zero. Go all the way down to VPK. going to hit install. Give this a, a minute or so, not even. Now remember, this is the updated version of the release. Always keep your stuff up to date. Now what I usually do is highlight. I like to scroll down to where it says delete. It says delete. Yes. Because there's no sense of keeping a file on here that it's just going to sit there, but I guess I'm just anal about things. So we close out of this. There's Chocolate Doom. Not really a fan of the icon at all. Um, I'm sure there's like a bubble editor to change out the icon picture. But I'll have to look into it, but this is what it looks like. That looks rad. Hit start. I'll turn up the volume. So you got Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom. There's t there were two different versions of Final Doom that came out. The TNT and the Plutonia. And Heretic, Hexen, and I don't think I've ever heard of Strife um, before, but all the rest of the games I have heard of. So um, remember... When you first downloaded this um, application, stuff like that, it came with two files, the Heretic shareware and the Doom shareware. It took me a good number of hours to find full working, full version games from the internet. So if you want to give me some props, you can. If you want to send me $1,000, that'd be great. So let's do Doom. The shareware, I think, only had, I think, two episodes or something like that. Maybe one. I don't really recall. I do apologize. But this is Doom. And the only bad thing about this, um, with all the rest of the games, is when you go to quit game, it tells you right here, do you want to quit? Blah, blah, blah. Hit Y. I mean, we're not on a computer, so you just hit X. It boots you back to the main menu. Well, the dashboard. I would like it if the guy who created this would boot you back to the interface. Because every time you want to go to another game, it boots you back to um, the Vita des um, des desktop dashboard, whatever you want to call it. And there's nothing on here that lets you boot from uh, the interface of this program. But you could change the buttons if you'd like. I mean, totally up to you. 
I haven't really messed around with this. I actually installed this earlier today to get a feel for it and whatnot. But you can play online, whatever. But that was Doom. I'll show you Doom 2. These load a little slow. Just give it like 10 seconds. There's a demo like you'd see on the PC and stuff like that. So let's quit this mother trucker. I mean, the graphics don't look that bad, especially on a Vita. And you got to use the uh, directional. You can't use the joystick to move up and down, unfortunately. So this is Final Doom. This is the TNT version. All right. You choose your skill level. You can use the D-pad. So at least you know it works. I'm switching back and forth with uh, both hands and holding the uh, cell phone and stuff like that. All right, that was TNT. Let's do Plutonia. The right, right bumper fires. Switch guns is z uh oh. I always call it zero for some reason. Nothing with the uh, square. You change weapons with the triangle as well. Now, if you want to get the map up, you'd have to go back to the. Um, interface of this program and switch the um, switch the button so you can show the map. So let's do Reddick. Just another Doom clone port. Not really a port, but it's, it was built on the Doom engine. Hexen's going to be next. Now, there was a problem with Hexen. Um, you would have to update it because I guess the audio and music would drop out. So I'm not really too sure what version I have. It might be version 1.0 or 1.1, which actually fixes the soundtrack. So this is Hexen. Just another Doom type um, video game. Strife, never even heard of. But I, I will leave all the wads, um, all these games in the downloadable folder for you guys so you don't have to go searching for the out on the internet to get these games like I did. Stuff like that because it's a pain in the ass to be honest with you. So I'll do that. I'll do that for you guys. But thank you for checking out my Grand Theft Auto port and stuff like that. Well, I didn't make it, but the installation process. Got a lot of feedback, a lot of views. That's great. This is like an RPG type thing anyway. Choose skill level, training, rookie, veteran, elite, bloodbath. So I'm not going to start that. 
So I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe and uh, throw down a like if you did. Dislike if you didn't. Um, other than that, um, I guess I'll catch you guys at the next one. Thank you.